1993. A little movie called The Last Indian Warrior. Also called Squanto Last Indian Warrior. It was being filmed. And I actually stayed in a campsite in Lewisburg. I saw the ship and signed on to the Disney movie. And sat next to... Um... The guy that became... Dumbledore. He was also in the movie. <laughs> yeah, there's the uh, filming... And me down... I'd like to say in the bilges, but actually the bilges is a couple of floors down. <laughs> oh, I think that's New York. Ah, oh, that's Central Park. Nina told me, whatever you do, don't go at night to Central Park. That was a red flag. <laughs> oh, that's the view from Louisburg. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice choice of jumpers there. Yeah, I think that was Louisburg again. Oh, I think that's the Statue of Liberty as I flew in to New York. Uh, I mean, New York. My first sky trapers? I think so. Cool. Me, the guy from Boston. You want oregano? Yeah, I'll have oregano. Oh, and then of course. I hitched through Canada to Alaska and got a lift with the caribou hunters who used bows and arrows to uh, to get their caribou. They wouldn't use the guns, they used the guns just for fun. Oh, that's San Francisco. I got an artist to do a sketch of me thing in me. Uh, that's ooh, near San Francisco. I stayed with a guy for a couple of days. Ah, that's the powwow I went to. Native Indians camped with them and went to see some Canadian football. I think one more player on the pitch. Ah, that's New Brunswick. The biggest title ball in the world. And I wasn't that impressed. Uh, yep, yeah, I went to Universal Studios, I think. One of those ones. That's Statue of Liberty. Uh, that was in a magazine as I flew in. Uh, that was the moose that didn't like me taking photographs of his girlfriend. And behind me, so that moose is like three meters away, behind me is a lake full of icebergs. Not really a good place. Oh, I camped right opposite um, Niagara Falls. Yet no campsite there. That was where the lights were for Niagara Falls and in the middle of the night suddenly my tent lit up green uh, oh yeah and one of my lifts dropped me off to get into Quebec I had to walk across the motorway bridge no path not good hmm untenable and some tenable situations in the USA in Canada this is Alaska with my, uh, well, not quite a confrontation with a male moose and his, uh, his amour, but he was getting quite angry and behind me was this lake of icebergs in Alaska. Well, it was summer at least. Uh, there's my tent. <laughs> Always seem to take pictures of my tent when it's not looking so good. At glaciers, I was amazed by them. Uh, oh, roadworks on uh, the Alaskan Highway. And uh, oh, black bears. It's the first time I've seen them. Uh, oh, scenery. And, and yes, I got to see the Auroras in Dawson City. And I thought I was just hallucinating from something I'd drunk the night before. Uh, Klondike, Diamond Tooth, Getty's Gamma. Day I don't know what that was. <laughs> Cool, Canada, and some kind of furry mama said or something. Oh yeah, me and the guy that I hitched up towards um, Fairbanks with, or well, beyond Fairbanks, Brooks Mountains. Yeah, we stopped and looked at one being dug out of the ground by a grizzly bear. And he asked me, was I afraid seeing as grizzly bears could run so fast? And I said no, because I could run faster than him.
back to the car. Uh, yeah, that's my tent. Yeah, I got hit by swarms and swarms of mosquitoes. And I'd found a, uh, a sort of net thing for over your head for stopping them. I was pleased with that. Uh, oh, that's black bears again. Uh, those two moves. They did. I took. I take photos when I'm. Uh, I'm nervous. The lake of icebergs. Uh, well, I think that was Banff and Jasper and, and Banffy area. And, oh, that's me trying to hitchhike from the Arctic Ocean back towards the Brook Mountains, and the. Uh, the oil pipe workers kept stopping and giving me loads of food. <laughs> I came out of Alaska with more food than I went in. But no lifts. Had to wait for the university guys. <laughs> I didn't hitch all of the USA and Canada. No, I got the bus from Seattle to Eugene. The uh, tortoise. Or some people called it the turtle. Anyway. <laughs> then I was back hitchhiking again. Because they were full from there on. And so I hitched with this guy to a Grateful Dead concert. We hung out outside, which was cool. And I saw this guy, San Francisco, I think, playing music on glasses, half filled with water. And that's a great Woodwood. And no, I'm not sure who that is. Can't be the Grateful Dead. Didn't get in. The Bridge, uh, Universal Studios, Universal Studios, Kaboom, uh... Uh, oh, I did some snorkeling <laughs> out there in the USA. I can't remember who lent me the gear. Uh, more redwood. And me with my San Francisco uh, um, picture. In New Zealand, of course. I went to Queenstown, strapped a camera to my arm, <laughs> and bungee jumped. Although... Uh, my memory thinks that probably I was pushed, although I don't remember the actual push, hand push. Oh, and I did the biggest uh, rafting thing in, in the world. I don't remember. Yeah, we did that. And the geezers and black squirrels and bubbly waters and seagulls and hand feeding. <laughs> Yeah, peacocks. Oh, that was one of my favorite places in Rotorua. The lake. Ah, oh, I spent hours sitting there watching the dancing steam. Mm-hmm. And that's just... Bungee jumping! That's the camera strapped to my hand. <laughs> I taped it to my hand so I could take that picture as I bounced back up again. There's the river we jumped off. Skippers, I believe, the highest bungee jump in the world. There was the root burn track that I walked, you know, no guidebooks, no maps. Just thought, oh, that'd be nice. Uh, and then it got dark, and then I stayed overnight at the, uh, the sheltery thing. Oh, that's my raft thing going over the uh, biggest water drop in the world in this it's Queenstown everything's the biggest in the exciting scales and uh, that's the steamy water Roborn and there's me getting ready for it and oh you just got a loads and loads like just lots of water in your face and stuff and then people's arms are that's the picture of me bungee jumping possibly on my second time down <laughs> Oh, some geezer that I hitchhiked lift with had a whole bunch of eels. So we went to uh, feel the eel. And they're really nice and silky smooth. Not slimy or anything, just amazingly soft. That was the root burn that I, uh, I decided to walk, because why not? That's the bridge we jumped off, I think skippers. Uh, that's my uh, experience in water rafting. That's uh, Smoky Waters and me, I think, at the end of the rope burn, maybe. Oh, and that was the emergency hut I stayed on overnight in the rope burn. This <laughs> cool, cool. In New Zealand, even the playgrounds are exciting. <laughs>
oh that's the girl that helped me get on the airplane and I met her up with her again and she took me to the Apostles she was nice uh, the Great Bite and uh, yeah, hitch that <laughs> those are two good days uh, yes, we had kangaroos and cockatoos and black swans and so many things I'd never seen in uh, I think that's from the aeroplane. Uh, yep, close mate swans. Uh, that was a hairy nose wombat, although maybe it was because it was so early in the morning you can't see that picture really. Uh, hmm, don't know what that was. <laughs> Good times.